Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to replace the upper oxygen sensor in this 2005 uh, Hyundai Elantra with a 2.0 liter. Uh, tools you'll need, you'll need a 12 millimeter socket and ratchet and probably a piece of pipe for some extra leverage and you'll also need a special um, O2 sensor um, socket uh, with the corresponding ratchet. All right, I've located the coil next to the air box on the left hand side, driver's side of the engine and I'm going to access it by removing four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the engine cover in place. Okay, I'm going to speed up here. What you saw Donnie do there before was um, used a piece of pipe on his ratchet, give him some extra leverage. Uh, these um, bolts that hold the heat shield on can be hard to break free, uh, but as you see, they do come out. Um, there are those who would say that you don't have to remove your heat shield, and that may be true, but you do run the risk. If you don't remove your heat shield, you run the risk of possibly um, putting a slice in the, the O2 sensor wire when you reinstall it. So we prefer to just take the extra step and remove the heat shield. I'm sliding the harness out of the clip on the heat shield. And then I'm going to take a flat blade screwdriver and put it into the connector. See on the top is a clip. Just give a little twist. You'll hear it click. And you pull out the connector. I'm pulling the heat shield up and off. And I got my 7 8 inch socket, and this is specially designed for oxygen sensors. You can see the cutout, so it'll slip right over the wire. And I'm going to use socket wrench and pipe. And I've broken it free, it should twist. If it doesn't, just continue to work it around. And I've got my new part from 1A Auto, exact replacement. shield back on, threading the harness through. And we'll speed up here as we install the four bolts that hold the heat shield and then tighten them up. I'm plugging the new sensor back in. Making sure you hear it click and then routing the harness through the clip. And the final step is to put the uh, engine cover back on. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.